everybody. Let's do our hello song. weather looks like. You see lots of clouds in the sky. Can you see a little bit of the sun? The clouds are covering it. Is it really windy out there? Or look in your trees. Is, are things blowing around? If water's coming out of the sky, it must be rainy. All you see is a nice bright sun out. It's sunny. So is it sunny? Rainy? Windy? Or cloudy? Hide in the sun. Go look and let us know. Before we do our activities for today, I'm going to read fun book called Ten Apples on Top. One apple on top. Two apples on top. Look, you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two. See here, you two? I can get five on top. Can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, 
We are all as good as you. Look, now we have seven, too. And now see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's about to put 10, 10 apples on top. Good job. Okay. So grandmother, we have a new letter for today to review. Yesterday we did N. Yesterday we did N. Today we are doing O. O. O makes the sound of O. O. Big O. Little O. There's some O sounds. We have we have an octopus on. Octagon, olives, ox, ostrich. Oh, ah, octopus, on. It makes two different sounds sometimes. And yesterday, we did a heart. Today, I want you to find a star. You find the star. Take a look. Good. Here's our star. Good job. Let's all say hi to Gingerbread Boy. Hello, everybody. He has a question for you. He wants to know if you remember what we talked about yesterday in his book. We read about the very quiet cricket. Do you remember what we said a cricket is? It's an insect. Good. We have a little chart of insects, our alphabet chart. See them all. And let's talk about insects. Insects all have six legs. One, two, three, four, five. These are the parts of an insect. We have a head. The middle of the body is called a thorax. And the abdomen, the bottom. And we said they have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they don't have any bones in their body. We see their elbow, their knees. They don't have that. They have no bones. They have tissues. On the top of their head, they have what's called antennae. How many legs do you have? Okay, we have one, two. All insects have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, a cricket is an insect. the same. They start out like little eggs. So butterflies are insects too. They can just fly. So remember we learned about butterflies and how they started out with eggs. They turned into a caterpillar. They went into a cocoon into hiding. They entered a book and they're like, hmm, they became a butterfly. 
butterflies, even though they have wings, they have such bright colors. There are lots of different kinds of butterflies. Some of them have crazy names you've never heard of. Also, the letter of the day is L. Let's stop when we get to L. A is for Affet. The Affet likes to eat green plates. He thinks they are the best. But to a farmer or a gardener, an Affet is a pet. B is for bumblebee. A bumblebee, as you can see, has yellow stripes and small black wings. You may think this insect's cute, but don't get too close. It stings. C is for cricket. You might see a cricket. He'll be jumping all around. Listen very closely to hear his chirping sound. D is for James Damselfly. The damselfly is colorful. She has six long legs. When it's time, she flies to water. Then she lays her eggs. E is for earwig. The earwig is quite active. This insect can be found in your house or garden, crawling all around. F is for firefly. Now let's look for a firefly. It can be found at night. You can spot this insect when you see its flashing light. I like fireflies. D is for grasshopper. The grasshopper is hard to catch. Would you like to know why? She has two legs and uses them to jump up very high. Her two back legs are big. They can jump. H is for Harlequin cabbage bug. I've never heard of that. This insect is a stink bug. And here's how you can tell. If you get too close, you'll know it has an awful smell. Oh, no, I've heard of a stink bug. I didn't know it was curled bad. I is for inchworm. The inchworm likes to crawl around and eat leaves every day. This type of insect can be green or sometimes brown or gray. J is for Japanese beetle. If you look on this bug's head, you'll find a green spot there. When he's scared, he rolls on his back with his feet up in the air. K is for cat, catty baby. This insect is shaped like a leaf and she is colored green. She hides in trees and blends right in so she cannot be seen. Okay, we're gonna stop at L. We didn't get the O yet, but we'll see if we can get to the letters of our week tomorrow. They are a lot of different insects out there. And you have to remember how many legs they have. There's six. The spiders have eight legs. They're bugs, but they're not insects. We'll talk more about them tomorrow. But before we go, let's just do a quick movement activity with Dragon. Here we go. He wants us to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you.